Hi y'all, good morning. So today is Saturday, June 16th. Wow, <laughs> we're always almost half, well, we are halfway through the month. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, the reason for me coming on is because I, I just, excuse me, wanted to update you guys on a couple of things. So first, <laughs> My job did not accept the form that my primary doctor filled out. So I don't know if it's cause, okay. I don't qualify for FMLA, which is family medical leave of absence. Okay. I exhausted that when I was taking care of my mental health between what was it? Yeah, January, well, November, mid-November through March. Um, because I was started being at my job for a full year back in November and that's when I was eligible for FMLA based on the hours I have accumulated or something like that so um, yes yeah, I got an email so I logged in on Friday okay logged in on Friday was you know trying to catch up on my emails this is my first day back of being off for a week <laughs> after my car accident and um yeah so i submitted that paperwork on i think it was the 12th they responded or sent an email to my work email on the, the 13th and it was like based on the um, information that your doctor filled out I mean, it, it doesn't qualify under ADA. So ADA is American Disability Act, okay? So my whole thing is when I look up ADA, it's like for, you know, like my depression would be covered if you have like an actual um, impairment, right? Like um, a limb missing, you, you're blind or stuff like that. So, I'm wondering if the reason why it was denied is because I don't fall under there. Okay, so this is what it stated. It's for intermittent leave. Intermittent leave, obviously, is not... I'm thinking, like, that form is not for those purposes. It's more or less... Because the only time I've ever dealt with this itself with my primary job has always been for my mental health. So, yeah... Um, that was, uh, <laughs> I almost cried. This whole situation has been stressful for me in a way. Um, just that when the accident happened, y'all, I cried. I cried for a couple of things. Okay, yes, I just put money into the car. First of all, let me say, I'm happy that we're all safe. <laughs> me, the drivers, and the girl. Um, but the other thing is, I'm like, I put money into this car, and then on top of that, I'm thinking overall, y'all know, I think overall, I'm like, I don't have sick time. Even if I did have sick time, we only get, what, 40 hours of sick time per year, okay? I got six hours left because you figure in the beginning of the year, I did have to use up to, what, three days out of my sick time. So that's not much. That's not much at all, you know? And then I am definitely trying to hold on to those six hours. So my whole train of thought, I'm like, I don't know. You know, when I reached out to the manager and she was like, oh, you don't have enough sick time. I'm like, I already know that. I told you that. Um, well, you could try to apply for FMLA. You wouldn't be eligible for anything else, like using your vacation time or anything. So... Yeah, I went the FMLA route. Obviously, it didn't go through because I exhausted it. So the next step is to do the leave of absence. But I, it, the thing is, obviously, it's not going to be based on a medical, right? I don't know. I, I'm kind of confused. I plan on emailing them or calling them on Monday. Um, but this is what I'm doing, y'all, because this has has been stressful in a way that I am concerned about my job this is my job this is my livelihood i don't want to get written up if it comes down to that okay you know but i'm like these things happen to people what happens when 
I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I can use my hand. You know what I mean? I can use my hand. Now, you know, my wrist was hurting before, but it still hurts sometimes. It depends on what happens. But I've been having a lot of pain here and definitely, like, more discomfort even, like, in the back of my shoulder. Um, so, like, I could still work. So, I'm wondering if it's just based on what he put down. Because he did mention, like, okay, she has an issue with bending um, and some other stuff, right? But it doesn't interfere with my job like per se i can talk right i can talk i can type at the moment right so they're like why can't she work you know and it, it wasn't even for extended period of time it was just to cover those four days after like of my hours um so that would have been thursday i'm uh, sorry friday saturday monday tuesday so yeah so this is what i ended up doing i'm like okay after i read about ada i'm like are they denying it for you know the purposes that it doesn't qualify for that even though i was in a car accident um nothing was missing or anything like that i don't know once i get clarification on that okay i may just take that as a verbal i don't know what's gonna happen y'all I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I text my, my, I message my manager. She starts working today. She um, is off Friday and Saturday. So she works Sunday through Thursday. So obviously after all of this, she hasn't, I haven't been in contact with her. So I have to figure out what's gonna happen. If I don't try to figure out more about the ADA situation in that form, I have to know what's going to happen with those 40 hours. Of course, it's going to be unpaid, but is because it was consecutive, you know, would that be just a verbal? I, I'll, I'll be okay with that. I don't feel like I should be penalized for it, but, um, you know, this is something that I will take into consideration when I respond to the, or what I'm requesting for my pain and suffering. Um, and wage loss, okay? This is all gonna be included in how I respond to them and what I wanna be compensated with, okay? Cause this is a lot, this is a lot, you know what I mean? Um, I, I just feel like I'm being penalized <laughs> for something, you know? I'm like, people get in accidents. Some people are really down and out they they may have exhausted fmla for other things throughout the year or whatever because they don't have a disability they can't not they're not going to be covered i i just don't get that so that's where my my mind was at i'm just like okay my job is not backing me up they don't care but i know policy is policy but like come on now come on now so anyways, um, so hopefully my manager responds. I plan on logging in today to send an email again to the ADA rep, or I may, as I mentioned, I may call them on Monday. So my train of thought was this. After I figured more information about the ADA and thinking like, okay, that could be the reason why I was denied, I reached out to my psychiatrist. My next appointment with her is not going to be until august because i've been doing well i've been doing well but i told you guys this accident has set me back <laughs> it has set me back with my emotions i am i've been irritable you know i've been irritable but it's been okay you know but this itself i'm just like i came into work on friday seen that email saying i was denied and then i'm like what's gonna happen you know what i mean I am dealing with people where I have to, you know, put on a fake face, right? I'm like, I don't want to help you. You know, this job is not trying to help me. Nobody's trying to help me. You know, I don't, I, I mean, I know I have a job to do. I, I do it, but like, it's really impacting me with my emotions. Let me tell you on Saturday. So this past day I worked and like the first call I got, you know, I, I feel like on the weekends, the first call you get is somebody angry, right? And I'm just, I put my, I, 
throughout the whole day i was like lifting up my keyboard and going like this to like the back you know the keyboard has like stand i was mm, and let me tell you another thing that has that picked up especially on friday was i was so anxious i didn't feel anxious i didn't feel it but like i felt like i was gonna pee myself like i was that jittery like y'all i haven't felt like that since the end of last year you know and that's why that's what, some of the things that i was experiencing and i knew my anxiety was getting bad my everything you know and so that was one of the symptoms that i was experiencing before so i'm like candace this is not just like you being irritable it's you know you are feeling in anxiety because of the whole situation you know um so yeah i felt like that i felt like that saturday it wasn't as bad but friday oh my goodness i was feeling like i was gonna pee myself it was just like yeah <laughs> it's not a cool thing i thought it was because i had coffee but i'm like nope it's not because i had coffee i had coffee before you know even when i'm sitting down you know and even with the situation with the car it was just like wow i'm not being backed up so then i got that denial and it just started my body you know and it's like a domino effect um holding my mouth holding what i want to tell the customer i want to cut them off i want to be stern with them but i'm like candace you can't so i'm lifting up my keyboard i'm rolling my eyes um and i am i'm not being stern with the customers i'm just you know giving them the information um so anyways i did email my psychiatrist she just got back from a vacation anyways uh, for a week but i haven't needed her right my next appointment as i mentioned was going to be in august but i reached out to her i said hey i was involved in a car accident um i'm i'm dealing with i emailed her on friday once i got that notification that ada was denied I let her know, I said, hey, my primary care doctor filled out, you know, the form, medical accommodation form. And it, I just got confirmation that it was denied. I said, "I this has put my emotions, has set me back. I said, I was doing good. You know, I was irritable. I said, that has picked up and now I'm just anxious, right? So I said, I think I may have to go the medical route, the mental health route, which is valid. It's not like, oh, I want you to fill out the form here. No, it is affecting me, okay, because of all these things. And then think about this. I will be going to um, physical therapy. I don't know how physical therapy works. Is it a couple days per week? Is it, is, I know obviously it can't be monthly, you know what I mean? So I'm like, all of these things are coming up. Like, how am I supposed to make it to my appointments for physical therapy if I don't have sick time. Six hours, what is that gonna get me? You know what I mean? I don't know how any of this stuff works. I actually go to my physical therapy appointment. I got that scheduled for Monday. I also, for Monday, originally had my um, car to be reviewed, like for the collision, bring it to the collision place on Monday morning, but I'm gonna have to reschedule that because the most important is physical therapy um they have a couple different uh f facilities um but the one that had the most earliest is a one in like 30 minutes away from me so yeah i was like okay i don't want to be short on time and have my car still being looked at and then i have to rush to an actual important um appointment you know what i mean so yeah i may have to call them reschedule for the car review i could do it later on that day so I, that's what i plan on doing i want to get to physical therapy that's most important um and figure out how that all works but y'all i'm happy that i'm still taking off monday and tuesday so i am off from sunday through thursday i don't go back to work until friday but let me tell you this also my psychiatrist 
she's booked until Friday. The er she has one appointment on Friday, and it's like at one thirty ish. Um, where where is this stuff coming from? Like, where is this time off coming from? I went on. Let me tell you this. I went on to my scheduling at work. Uh, I try to put in for even just, you know, three hour time frame, you know, to speak with my psychiatrist and get myself together, right? I can go in person or we can do virtual with my psychiatrist. But guess what? Friday is all packed. Vacation time is not eligible. So this is, <laughs> this is where I'm at, right? I'm like, yo, I just feel like it's a barrier, like... A barrier after barrier like a says like a setback after setback so um i do she's like i wonder why would they de deny i'm like i don't know if it's because of how he filled out the form or what this is just through chat you know through messaging with her she says that's weird i'm like yeah but then you think about it and because what the email said is that what your doctor filled out it doesn't fall under ada so that's what i'm thinking it's for so I definitely have to go the medical route now. Will will she be able to backdate it and say because of the accident, my the she has been stressed out with the situation, or will she go from here going forward? You know, I don't know. So I'm still in limbo as to what's going to happen. I won't know until Friday, but hopefully I'll get confirmation from my manager at least today or Monday as to if I can't get those days approved under FMLA and based on what my psychiatrist can put in motion, what happens to those four hours, those four, that whole week, that my work week. So yeah, that's where I'm at, you guys. But I have appointments scheduled for my psychiatrist. I was going to rebook an appointment with my primary care doctor, but there's not a point if him notating that okay i mean what he can do i will say this what he can do is saying based on the car accident you know the whole situation with her arm it's causing a lot of stress and anxiety and yes it will be good for her to be off those four those those four days and then also um you know she will need additional time for uh additional appointments and that's going to be more stressful to add on so i could go that route it does ask as the uh on the form is like does your does the physician know about your um have uh, know your history about the and uh the disability he does i've been dealing with him since i moved down here so that's been 11 years so i could go that route but at the same time, I feel like he's he's rushy. And it's not just that. I can deal with rushy, okay? As, if I tell him, hey, this is why it was denied, then yeah. And I've been having headaches, too, on this side. I didn't understand. Like, I just thought, you know, it was because of my eating. It's not. It's not. And then on top of that, I'm like, why wasn't I feeling headaches before? I was feeling headaches, but I was always taking ibuprofen. Every what, a couple of uh, like every I think eight hours or three times per day. So in the beginning, it was just like okay, you can't feel the headache or it's not like a headache because you've been taking pain meds, right? Um, so yeah, but yeah, recently and, and when I don't take the ibuprofen, I've been having like these headaches. It comes and goes. So I'm like okay, because it really comes out when I do something with my arm. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know y'all. I don't know. I will keep you posted. I did, um, respond to the email about that first offer. I did decline it. Um, I, I, there was an option to decline. It was like, why do you want to decline? I'm like, um, I do not like accept the offer. So yeah, I'm taking my time with that y'all because, um, this is just getting started. You know, I don't know what's going on with my job. Am I getting in trouble? I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
so we we shall see what happens y'all just wanted to keep you guys updated because um i i am i will say this i don't feel stressed but i am stressed you know i am i in a good mood i feel like yeah i'm in a good mood i'm not letting it bring me down so like it's not like how I would have been, you know, being like frustrated. Sometimes I do get frustrated, but adding it on to me taking care of my customers, I'm like, I. it's just like, it's too much, you know. Like right now, I'm, I'm chill, right? I can go outside. I sit in the sun with the girls, especially honey, and I just chill, you know. But when I had to go to work, seeing that information, I'm just like, you know, I thought I was ready to go back to work. I don't, the thing is, y'all, I don't want to be out of work. I want to keep going with work, but all of these appointments, all of this extra stuff is, it is stressful in that manner. It causes me anxiety in that manner that these things are out of my control and it is messing with my emotion, like my anxiety. It's causing so much stress on me because I know I have to go to these appointments, but then also my job is in jeopardy, you know? Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted. I just wanted to update y'all. I know this is a lot of mumbling, but that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.